Hello and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can use the UI hosting controller to load and also to display a Swift UI view into your UI kit application. All right, so I already have a UI kit application and I have a controller. I have a storyboard also. I'm not really going to do anything with the storyboard. It's completely blank for now. All right, so let's go ahead and see. There we go. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create some sort of a Swift UI view. All right, so I'm going to go over there and going to create a folder called Swift UI views. That's perfectly fine. And inside over here, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, which will be a Swift UI view. As you can see, I'm using that particular template. Let's go ahead and move next. And we will call it content view for time being. We're not really going to change anything in the view. It's just going to say hello world. And for us, that's perfectly fine. We just want to see that if we can load this particular view into our application. And then later on in the future videos, I'll show you that how you can even interact with your Swift UI view and it can do callbacks and give you the data in your view controller. So at this point, we have our view, which is a content view. I mean, I can go ahead and maybe change the background so we can actually see it, but obviously you're going to see it when the text is getting displayed. So let's go ahead and resume that. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go ahead and simply change the background, although you don't really need to do anything with the view. I mean, we can definitely see all of that stuff. There we go. Okay. All right, so now if I want to load that view into my view controller, how do I do it? Well, what we have to do in this case, we have to use something called a UI hosting controller. So let controller equals to UI hosting controller. Now you can see it's not even coming up. And the reason is that you have to import the Swift UI. So let's go ahead and import Swift UI. Now we can go ahead and say UI hosting controller. And you'll see that one of the overload initializers for UI hosting controller takes in a root view. And this is where you can pass in your Swift UI view. So let's go ahead and say root view. And I'm gonna go ahead and say content view because that is my Swift UI view, okay? But this controller is not really added to our current controller. So we will use the view controller containment feature, which is a pretty old feature, uh, and going to add that controller to our current controller. But first, let me go ahead and make sure that the view, which in this case is Surf UI view, uh, translate auto math is false because we will be adding our own constraints. Now self, which in this case is the view controller dot add child, and you can see that we can add it as a child controller. So there we go, we will add it to the child controller. And we will also go ahead and make sure that we add the sub view which will be coming from the controller view, which will be the content view, the view that we actually just added, which is this one. Okay. And finally, we're gonna call controller.didMove. We have to tell that we have actually moved into the parent controller. Now, this is not really going to display anything for now because we haven't really created constraints, meaning right now we, the system doesn't really know because we are saying translate auto resizing mass to false, we have to make sure that we are putting it at the right place. So we have to have some sort of a constraints. So there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and add these constraints. These are just basic auto layout constraints. If you don't like that, you can use the visual language also. That's perfectly fine. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Now, if I run the application, you will see that it will be loading our content view, which simply says hello world, into our view controller uh, or a UI kit application inside the UI view controller. So let's go ahead and run this and we should be able to see our view. So it's gonna load. Okay, taking a while to load, I guess. There we go, took a while, but you can see that this is our uh, Swift UI view which is loaded inside a UI kit application using a UI view controller and inside a view controller, right? So this is how you can use the 
UI hosting controller, which is hosting uh, the Swift UI view. And then we add that controller into our, as a child, into our main controller, which we are doing it right over here. All right, so that was a very basic video which is going to or which showcase that how you, if, if you have surf UI views, you can still load them into your old applications or into your application, which is mostly like UI kit and controllers and all that kind of a stuff. In the future videos, I'm gonna go through that how you can do interactions between a surf UI view and if the surf UI view contains some sort of a text box, how can you get those values and give it to the view controller so that the view controller can do something about that. So we're going to be discussing that in the future videos. If you want to support my work and support my videos, then the best way would be to go and check out my course, which is Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for Any Apple Device. Now, this is the best-selling course with, you can see more than 3,000 students uh, enrolled and also more than like 15 hours. So this course is going to give you all the knowledge that you need to get started and intermediate level knowledge also using the MVVM design pattern and so much more. So this is a very, very comprehensive course and I keep on updating and adding new sections. As you can see at the bottom, I added a Near Me app, which is the integration of Swift UI with MapKit, which is an amazing section. You should definitely check it out. Now, the best way to get this course is by using the links in the description. So please do use the links in the description of the YouTube video because to be really honest, if you use the links, uh, it will help me a lot. And uh, that particular revenue, it goes toward creating more videos. If you already have Swift UI, then don't worry. Check out the, the description of the YouTube. There are so many other courses that I have developed uh, that you may find very, very useful. So uh, if you want the course, Check out the YouTube description. Uh, thank you so much for your continuous support. Thank you.